Good evening, everyone. Excellencies, distinguished guests, all protocol observed. Our president has honored me with his representation tonight and asked me to convey his best wishes and regards to all of you from Lebanon. It gives me a great pleasure to be among you, among such a distinguished group of achievers who share a common cause. That is Lebanon, of course. The American Task Force for Lebanon continues to be one of the institutions that have placed the security, stability, freedom, and sovereignty of Lebanon at the heart of its mission, successfully promoting activities to serve that noble cause and purpose and celebrate actions which exemplify that spirit. You have succeeded at uniting together pioneers, entrepreneurs, public figures, academic, and business professionals who share a passion for Lebanon and rallied support for the country of your parents and forefathers. Your energy, action, and care are a source of pride and comfort to all of us back home. Lebanon today needs you more than ever before. At this critical time, as we strive to execute one of the most ambitious reform programs while facing global, regional, and some local challenges. Regional conflicts have left Lebanon with the highest refugee to population ratio in the world, placing a major burden on infrastructure and services. Add this to a global economic crisis and years of decay in local public institutions post a lengthy civil war and infrastructure, and you get a challenging fiscal and economic situation as a result. As you know, the Lebanese are resilient people and can adapt to any situation. But adapting sometimes has to be replaced by transforming, breaking out of the current status quo, particularly when reforms are needed as a prerequisite to growth and prosperity. Reconciliation, tolerance, and unity are the roots of stability. Governance, institutions, and the rule of law are the pillars of sustainable development. And finally, <laughs> and finally, investments, fiscal discipline, and international community support are the cradle for growth and prosperity. We count on you all. We count on the goodwill and the capabilities of the Lebanese around the world and our friends to preserve the stability of Lebanon by supporting the existence of all of these elements while recognizing the special circumstances of Lebanon and respecting its values and heritage. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, as the world embarks on the fourth industrial revolution, Lebanon needs to be prepared
to leapfrog many stages of development and rise to the challenge, then turn the challenge into an opportunity. We need to be ready to embrace change in technology and sciences and prepare our young generation for the upcoming global competition. We have always been pioneers and discoverers and differentiated ourselves across the world, creating value and prosperity wherever we go. It is time we brought that success, you brought that, that success back home to write the future story of Lebanon. Your success has been an inspiration to all of us to resume our quest for excellence in business, arts, sciences, hospitality, and human development, both in Lebanon and in every land where the Lebanese spirits roams freely and prospers. May all your dreams be turned into actions and your actions into success. Keep the dreams alive and your actions going because they will take you and Lebanon very, very far. May God bless you and bless Lebanon. Thank you.